Hi, my name is Kim Boning Johansen. I'm a chemical engineer and I work in research and development here in Topsø. Today I'm standing in our chemical lab in Lyngby, Denmark, a part of our research and development unit. In Topsø, we work in the field of catalysis. With catalysis, we help our clients run the chemical reactions in their production plants in order to produce different chemicals we need in our society. Without catalysis, we would not have gasoline, plastics, polyesters, artificial fertilizer, and countless other products in the volumes we need. So what is a catalyst, and how does catalysis work? A catalyst is a compound that accelerates chemical reactions. This process is called catalysis. Catalysts are very efficient and typically make a chemical reaction one million times faster. Imagine this. You have two identical production plants. One is using catalysts and the other is not. Production plant number one can produce one million tons of, for example, ammonia in the same amount of time as production plant number two produces only one ton of ammonia. That's why catalysis is indispensable for industry and society, and we could not mass produce most of the products we take for granted without it. Catalysts reduce the binding energy between atoms in molecules. This makes it easier to react these molecules to form the desired product. Our catalysts in Topsø come in all shapes and sizes, and we have around 150 different types of catalysts. Let me show you an example of one of our popular catalysts, TK. TK catalysts are used by refineries to remove harmful sulfur and turn crude oil into gasoline and diesel. At the refinery, around 100 tons of TK catalyst is placed in a large metal pipe called a chemical reactor. The purpose of the process is to convert sulfur-containing diesel into sulfur-free diesel in order to ensure a clean exhaust gas from diesel cars. Sulfur-containing diesel is mixed with hydrogen and passed through the catalyst where the mixture reacts to sulfur-free diesel and hydrogen sulfide. The hydrogen sulfide is subsequently removed and ultimately converted into fertilizer. We are left with a desired product, sulfur-free diesel, in a continuous process. This process layout using a continuous flow over a solid catalyst is the simplest and cheapest way of running a catalytic process in an industrial plant. In a solid catalyst, the catalytic reaction takes place on the surface of the catalyst. In order to make the best catalysts, we need to be able to design the surface of the catalyst down to the nanoscale. Optimizing the nanostructure of the surface combined with maximizing the available surface area and the microporosity of the catalysts are all essential tasks in order to design optimum catalysts. The next step is to optimize the size and shape of the catalyst before we can move to production of the catalyst in ton scale in our own production plants. All these steps need to be optimized in order to deliver the best and most effective catalysts to our customers and their mega scale plants.